What's going on guys? Pompton87 here and I'm here with some Forza 6 content. Now for all you F1 subscribers, don't before you click off, this video will be looking at the Lotus E23, the only A, the only F1 car in the Forza game. And I saved up a lot of a uh, lot of credits to get this. I, I believe it's the most expensive car you can buy on the game. 2 million credits and I finally got enough to quite be playing in this game and a few uh, prizes and the uh, spins and stuff like that and I finally got the Lotus E23. I'm just going to look through the liveries now and the first one is a nice one of a Ferrari livery uh, that actually looks pretty good on that car and then we got a white and blue one, we got Mercedes uh, 2015 livery, we got McLaren 1980's livery, McLaren 2008 I think it is um, it's, it's, quite, it's, quite, it's quite a lot of liveries in this car and it was quite tough deciding which one to actually apply and uh, we've got sort of a silver red one, not quite sure if that's any, an actual F1 livery. We've got a um, like 1990s Williams livery, which is kind of cool. And I, I reckon a lot of them look pretty good. There's the actual Lotus uh, livery there. And we've got some sort of uh, vibrant coloured ones. Uh, it, it, it looked pretty good. The Lotus in this game, well, well the F1 car, it, lo it looks pretty good, especially in the graphics and stuff like that and the liveries. So the actual livery I decided to go for uh, was the 1990s Williams livery. Uh, I believe like Nigel Mansell um, raced in this sort of um, era of that sort of livery on his Williams. Except it's actually on a modern day F, uh, well, Lotus F1 car. So it's, I think it's kind of cool, kind of contrasting the new and the old era and stuff like that. Uh, so we're going to take a look at it in the wide angle view now as it's just saving our design that we selected. And we're going to actually have a look at the car that we brought, uh, which will be added to my collection. And then we'll be able to uh, drive it around. Um, it unlocks basically driving around like when, whatever race you want and time trial laps and stuff like that. And I believe we will do a hot lap in, uh, around Monza just to show off what, how the car handles and stuff like that. But first of all, we're just going to take a look at what the car we brought and the livery. And that does look pretty good. Pr pretty sexy, really, I reckon. Um, not, not nice, uh, nice advertising and stuff like that. It's got the Canon advertising. We're just buying the car, saving it now. Um, and yeah, it's going good. Um, just confirming our purchase of the F1 car now as uh, the 4 to 6 lady is introducing us to the car that we brought. And that, yeah, that does look pretty good. I'm pretty, pretty happy with my purchase. And it means we can now drive it whenever and wherever we want. And we're going to demonstrate it now by driving it for a few hot laps around the Autodromi de Naziali Monza. Just see how it compares, uh, like lap times wise and handling wise. It's sort, of, sort of like F1 2015 and even the Formula A cars in Project Cars, which I've done obviously laps in either, either of those, well, both of those cars on the separate games. And we're going to have a quick look to see how the car sort of handles and feels um, on this one as well. So I've already done a few practice laps, so I've done. So I'm going to show my best lap of the of the ones I've done on here. And first of all, we're just going through the assist. Yeah, I know I do run with traction control just because it's almost impossible to use this car. Well, to drive this car without the traction control, especially on a pad, it just spins up the wheels like crazy. Even like fourth or fifth gear, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's really hard. And just something I can't do. Yeah, I never said I was perfect. But uh, here we go, going, to, uh, going into the lap now. You saw the setup as well, where I didn't really change much of the setup. Yeah, even though I probably could have, and it probably would have made me faster. I haven't really looked into sort of what setups uh, make you faster and what, what you can do. So here we are, going into the first uh, chicane now. They blocked it off, so you can't really corner goods, which is pretty good. And we took it very nicely for the. Uh, car very very creepy. Probably a lot a lot of that was happening with the traction control, but the, the car still felt very good. Very sensitive as well into the steering. Uh, very very light. There's a, not really much weight you can feel with the car, and it doesn't feel as good at high speeds as say the F1 cars and F1 2015. Uh, it's, it's sort of very in, unpredictable. I don't know. It, it was still very fun to drive, and it was actually. Kind of, kind of, I'd say kind of more fun to drive in low speed turns. But there we go, went through the second Lesmo, we got a perfect turn. We're now going off back straight towards the Scarry and the Bridge. Uh, so yeah, we are losing, using Race 9 as well, just because, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you want to ride hate to the assist I'm using, please go ahead. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, it's just because a lot of the tracks obviously in this game uh, have no breaker boards. And uh, this track does, but oh well. We should go ahead and now we're going through the Parabolica. Took it very nicely as uh, we're going to go across the Star Finish Straight. Uh, we already set it to, to 26.5, now we're going to put it to 26.1, I believe. Which is, which is a pretty pretty good lap. I thought it was pretty good. I think it was one or two places on corner cut. It's kind of hard to tell, especially as in co cockpit view a lot. And I'm just obviously used to the uh, T cam, so it's kind of hard to get used to. But anyway, we're going out of it now, going to the credits and improve the drive level. So we're going to get a new spin, which for us include this in for well, just because why not? See what we get in the spin. And I don't think we get the gold prize for this one. In fact, we get a Corvette C7R, which is yeah, it's, it's not perfect. I would have preferred the Ferrari 458, which is a great little car. But we get did get a lot of credits. We even improved uh, pretty much a whole bar in the driving lesson, uh, the car level. Already to level eight. So yeah, I did do a bit of practice before I went into this uh, hot lap, just just because I wanted to get a clean lap for you guys to have a look at and have a look at what the car, how the car handled. But anyway, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I will leave you guys with the cinematic view of that lap. And I will see you guys next time. I will probably do be doing some more 4 to 6 videos. So I'll see you guys then. Palms out.